Hello, TLC. The Kingdom Church that's all around Georgia and West Georgia and Alabama and New York and North Carolina. Feed My Sheep went out today and we were absolutely overwhelmed with everything that we witnessed. Um, so us ladies yes. went out there. We fed more than 50 people. Mm -hmm. We're thinking we're going to have to increase our par during from April to like October. Um, but y'all want to say anything? We were blessed from the beginning to the end. We prayed for many people. We had people testify to us. I mean, one of the guys we used to feed years ago, he said, you remember me? He drove up in a truck. Okay. He said, I used to walk on a cane. My cane is in the back of this truck. I mean, he was blessed beyond measure. This other man said that he went, he told God what he wanted, what he desired. He desired a job and he did not want to be homeless anymore. He prayed. He went to Walmart and got a job today and he starts tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. That was such a blessing. I mean, he just, he just imparted so much wisdom into us about the Lord and having faith and, you know, working hard and, you know, and just expecting what you pray for because God would do it for you. I mean, we just got blessed. Just got blessed. We had a couple of people. Um, Tony had stage four cancer. He said that he was going to walk into a train last night, but God told him no. And then he met us today and we began to minister him and minister to his spirit and his soul. And I told him, no, somebody needs you. Somebody needs mm -hmm. your testimony. He was like, I know, that's why I didn't walk into that train. So I want y'all to know that somebody is waiting on your testimony. The enemy wants you to be quiet about where you started from, where your middle was, but you gonna have to tell this testimony because somebody needs it. Yes. Tony needed somebody else who, need, who had stage four cancer to tell them, tell him, no, you're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. God has got you, God has got you. He was like, y'all feeding me. I, I didn't even expect this today. So don't close the story. You want to close the story and leave it out. Don't say nothing else about it. But somebody needs your story. Somebody is on the brink of walking into a train. Amen. And they need to know your story. So don't give up on your story. Don't give up on your story. I mean, gosh. I mean, we saw so many people. Anthony in the wheelchair. Anthony in the wheelchair. He was like, y'all really helped me today. Really, really helped me today. He said, I just want prayer so I can get my ID back. We got to stop acting like God can't even do it. He can't do the small things also. God can do anything. Mm -hmm. So, Tony, Anthony, we met. Um, What's the woman name who said that you told her through prayer that she needs to stop just giving, giving, giving as much. She needs to pray about it and do what God tells her to do with her money. Oh, yeah. She was like, how did you know that? How did you know <laughs> that I was so giving shocked. all my money away? I she said, so the Lord told me to tell you that I, I don't even know you lady. Mm -hmm. She was like, I literally give my last time and then I'm homeless and nobody can help me. I said, listen, get your house in order. And then what's left over, God will tell you who to give to. She was like, wow, I can't believe you knew that. I, I, I don't know this. Man. What about the man who has a nurse for a wife? Mr. Davis. Mr. Yes. Davis. We met Mr. Davis. He's like, I'm tuning in to TLC. He's like, I don't even know much about prayer, but they told me the other people we've been feeding told them, told him to come let us pray for him. Because yep. his wife was in the hospital. She's a nurse. She was receiving blood transfusions. He was like, I just want y'all to pray. Passing out. Woman is a nurse and passing out trying to help people. So sad. TLC is a global church. True Life Church is a global church. We are not in just Villarica. Everywhere you go, you represent TLC. Amen. Go forth. Go forth. Don't be uprooted. God needs you. We need you to go forth. 51 people later, and we ran out. We did. We could have fed more. More. More people. So start putting cans in the back of your car. Start putting cans with cookies and a water in the car. I guarantee you somebody's going to walk up on you and need a word. And we're so excited where this is headed. Five years and four months later. Yeah. Yeah. 
We never imagined what God can do. <laughs> we just keep getting people added to us. I know, right? We just give keep shout out. Who we give a shout out to who didn't come today, who really wanted to come? Antoinette. Antoinette. Antoinette and Elijah. <laughs> Since you're getting ready for your nuptials, we represented y'all well with Pastor First Lady. First Lady uh, H. <laughs> <laughs> we represented y'all well. We love you, TLC. We're till next month, y'all. Right? That's right. Next month.